ਮੇਰੇ ਯੂਟਿਊਬਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਲਈ ਕੁਝ ਯੂਟਿਊਬ ਅਪਲੋਡਿੰਗ ਇੰਟਰਨੈਸ਼ਨਲ ਸਨਾਤ ਕਾ ਪ੍ਰੈਜੈਂਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਜਨ ਲਦੀਅਰ ਫੁਟਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਫੁੱਟ ਫੋਰ ਸਰਵਿੰਗ ਐਸ ਐਨ ਸਰਵਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਆਲਸੋ ਜੋ ਨੋਨ ਵੇਰ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ ਸਟੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਬੀ ਐਨ ਟੂ ਟੈਲੈਂਟਸ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਡੂ ਨਾਟ ਨੋਟ ਦੈਟ ਆਰਟਿਸਟ ਫੋਰ ਟੈਲੈਂਟਸ ਫੋਰ ਮੋਰ ਦੈਟ ਆਰਟਿਸਟ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਫੋਰ ਦੈਟ ਸੈਗਮੈਂਟਸ ਇਨ ਫੈਕਟ ਯੂਰ ਬਿਜ਼ੀ ਵਰਕ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਐਡਵਾਈਸ ਔਨ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਟੂ ਗੈਟ ਪਰਫੈਕਟ ਸਕੋਰ ਸਬਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬ ਨਾਓ ਹੈਲੋ ਵੀਵਰ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਸੀ ਦਿ ਸੋਲੂਸ਼ਨ ਟੂ ਵੀਕ 2 ਅਸਾਈਨਮੈਂਟ ਟੂ ਫੋਰ ਦ ਕੋਰਸ 5G wireless standard design so solutions that we provide are our suggestions first question calculate the number of slots per frame in a 5G NR system with 120 kilohertz sub carrier spacing we'll see the solutions so assignment to solution these are our solutions these are our solutions suggestions these are our suggestions so one slot duration is equal to 0.125 milliseconds for 120 kilohertz sub carrier frequency so one sub frame is equal to 1 millisecond that is equal to 1 millisecond divided by 0.125 milliseconds that is equal to 8 slots that means one sub frame is equal to 8 slots for 120 kilohertz sub carrier frequency now one frame is equal to 10 milliseconds which is equal to 10 sub frame so that means one sub frame has 8 slots 10 sub frame is equal to 80 slots so the answer is 80 second question select the protocol layer responsible for coding and modulation in 5G NR so it is the physical layer it is the physical layer so it is a physical it is a physical layer third question calculate crc for a 16 bit transport block with a generator polynomial d4 plus d3 plus 1 so the solution for this our suggestion is so what we do is we convert the given binary number <coughs> into a polynomial which is a message polynomial so it is d15 d14 d12 d10 d9 d8 d5 d3 d2 and d1 and we multiply this md with the the highest degree of the generator polynomial and that is given as the d4 that is given as that is given in the diagram as the d4 so therefore so so d4 we multiply so we will multiply this generator polynomial we will get that as d19 d18 d16 so here it is d19 d18 d16 d14 d13 d12 d9 d7 d6 d5 then we divide this by the generator given generator polynomial so if we divide this we'll get finally we'll get the remainder and the remainder here after the polynomial division what we get here is d3 plus d2 so back to the binary conversion we convert this into binary digit binary uh, bits so we get this so d not here d not is not not there in the remainder so therefore it is zero d1 is also up ab- is absent so not present therefore d1 is also zero only d2 and d3 are present therefore each one is one one so the answer is our suggestion is option c option c so answer is option c okay mm. next one fourth one consider a 5g nr system with 100 megahertz bandwidth and sub carrier spacing of 30 kilohertz a user is allocated a transport block size of 140 140 10 bits and uh, here it is consider the lpdc encoder with the base graph 1 refer to the lifting size tables and calculate the following so they are asking the code block size for the transport block we'll see so given transport block size is is 14010 bits number of code blocks is c equal to b divided by kcb minus l now what is now maximum code block length is kcb this is kcb kcb is the maximum code block length that is 8448 that is 8448 bits so the length of the crc is 24 bits and the given b b capital b here is 14010 14010 is the b 
so we substitute in, uh, we substitute these values here in the formula c equal to and what we get is 1.6 1.6 and that is the integer if you convert this into an integer it becomes 2 highest integer okay so therefore now we'll calculate what is k dash what is k dash c k dash equal to b dash by c and what is b dash b dash is nothing but the given b formula the given b plus c into l c is the num it is the number of blocks code block c is the number of code blocks and l is the parity bits length so therefore b is given 14010 and c is found out is to be 2 and uh, l is 24 crc bit length and uh, if you, you you can get this as 14058 okay and here this is b dash is 14058 divided by 2 c is equal to 2 here c equal to 2 here so therefore k dash equal to 7029 7029 now to calculate the code block size code block size we will use the we will use the formula which we know uh, kb multiplied by jc that is equal to capital k which is which should be greater than or equal to k dash and what is this kb kb is 22 message blocks it is for the base graph 1 base graph 1 and uh, from uh, jc from the tabular column from the tabular column provided jc which is nothing but uh, lift size from the base graph 1 that is equal to 352 it, that is equal to 352 so this 352 if you multiply with this 22 will give a number will give a number and that number is 7744 which is greater than or equal to k dash this is our k dash so this 7744 becomes the k so therefore code block size k is 7744 7744 so this is the answer is 7744 7744 next question fifth question calculate the number of filler bits per code block for the tb transport block given in 4 so the answer we'll try to find the number of filler bits required is simply nothing but uh, we have found out k as well as k dash k is 7744 and k dash is 7029 subtract one um, this so we'll subtract k dash from the k will 7744 minus 7029 and that is equal to 715 so the number of filler bits is 715 715. Sixth question calculate the lifting size for the given transport block that is one in, as in question Q4. So we will see this one. So sixth one lifting size. So we already done ZC is the lifting size. Okay. Z, Z, for the base graph, for the base graph one, for the base graph one, for the given, for the given, for the given transport block, for the given transport block. Uh, transport block is here transport block is 14010 so this has been already done here let see is the lifting block size which is equal to 352 352 so so the answer is 352 calculate the lifting size for the tb that is 352 seventh question calculate the ldpc encoder output length for the transport block given in the q4 so that is seventh question so ldpc ldpc encoder output length is n equal to n equal to 66 multiplied by zc where zc is the lifting size lifting size lifting size and we for the base graph one for the base graph <coughs> for the base graph one so therefore if you multiply 66 into zc for the base graph one it is 23 23 2 the answer is 23 23 2 seventh question is 23 23 2 eighth question calculate the number of code blocks required for the transport block given transport block given is 14010 as in question q4 so eighth question the number of code block we have already found c equal to 2 c equal to 2 so c equal to 2 8th question c equal to 2 number of code blocks required ok k 
calculate the value of KB when the code rate of the LDPC encoder is 1 by 5 in the case of in the case of base graph 2. Now, so far we used base graph 1 up to 7 up to 7. So, 4, 5, 6, 7 we use the base graph 1 and this is the base graph 1. Okay. Now, we will try to find the value of KP for base graph 1 it was 22. Now, for base graph 1 we will have to find out what is KB that is column size message column size. So, we will see that one. So, ninth question we know that the relation KB into ZC is equal to C this is equation 1. So, which is already shown here. So, which is already shown here KB into ZC is equal to K, but that should be greater than or equal to K dash. Okay. So, now K B into Z C is equal to K. Let us let, let this be equation 1. Now, but the code rate is given by K by N. K by N, this is our K, and what is N? N is the encoder output length. Just now we have found out this is encoder output length, and the encoder output length is 50 Z C. Here for here for base graph it is it is 66 Z C for base graph 2 it is 50 Z C 50 Z C. So, therefore, code rate is given as 1 by 5. So, from equation 2 we can find k equal to code rate multiplied by n and this is 1 by 5 into 50 Z C that you will get 10 Z C. We will substitute this k value in equation 1. So, now k b into Z C equal to 10 Z C Z C cancel therefore, k b equal to equal to 10 k b equal to 10. So, the answer is 10 answer is 10. The last question what is the best approach to maintain a link when <coughs> UV experiences UV experiences a sudden drop in SNR. So, naturally uh, from the first uh, module we have seen that we have to reduce uh, the de reduce the code rate reduce the decrease the code rate. Thank you.